a lot of farmers had been displaced from their uh, uh, communities. They are now in IDPs. Mm. They are now jobless. They can't go back to their farms. And what would, what would we expect? You expect food to be expensive. You expect a lot of things. The, I think some years ago during uh, Buhari, mm. there was, 80, was it about 83 mm. Zabalmari Zabal farmers, mm. rice farmers mm. that were beheaded in such gruesome manners and food. And there was really no reaction from government. And what did the terrorists do? Because they had come in and that some of these farmers snitched on them mm. to the authority and they came in on revenge mission and killed those people. These are rice farmers. The rice they were planting before, who is now going to plant it? Mm. You that's can't a deficit. Just, that's, that's a, a gap. Deficit. Yeah. Yes, there's a gap uh, uh, right, right mm. there. And then the Nigerian government did not even react. They did not go after these terrorists to say, mm. oh, you There are some sort of some deniers of even earlier. Uh, before they, they came to terms with the reality that's that what we always they were actually um, they always deny and then mm. they come because they, you when you bring out this and they call you the fake news uh purveyor they say you you hate government you don't mm. you, you you're always criticizing and stuff like that mm. but this denier don't will not get us anywhere propaganda and governance don't work hand in hand mm. today we are all facing you know the problems that are happening and of course being compounded by the lack of uh, good, uh, good good leadership that we are supposed to have so this is have continued on and one of the things for me is uh, mm. Nigerians have very expensive empathy mm. when something does not directly affect them they don't care mm. when we were on the street protesting against the insecurity against the fact that people were being uh, uh, attacked people were being killed communities were being displaced mm. it was almost there was even the way we say it was almost like there was a deliberate attack on the food basket of Nigeria if anybody was sensible to watch what was happening in play two, mm. what was happening in Benue in, Benue, in mm. In Niger State, mm. if you look around all of them in mm. Zamfara, in, Zanfara, yeah. in Sokoto, in, uh, in Borno and all of that, it was Taraba. It was like the food basket of this country. Mm. And then they were being, being attacked. attacked. Mm. And you know, the greatest way they really want to get to you, food insecurity is mm. one of the worst things that can happen uh, in a nation. But of course, the government wasn't interested. They were more interested in their propaganda mm. and just doing whatever it is that they want to do in terms of uh, uh, looting the, uh, the resources right, and having mm. some few billionaires that are not supposed to be. And here